All right, let's go back. We originally wrote down this molecule without a substituent, and we called it 2-pentene. The 2-pentene was because that double bond, first of all, is responsible for that ene -E instead of the ane. We would normally call that pentane. And the number one carbon is on the right and not on the left because the double bond is closest to this guy and not this guy. So that gave us the 2-pentene. Now I just added an extra carbon here as a substituent. What kind of a group is this here? What is he? I just circled him. He is a methyl. Methyl, yes. And what carbon is methyl on? Four. Four. Okay, so this is going to be a four methyl. See, it doesn't change that much, does it? Four methyl. The, the big difference between the ane and the ene are the, of course, we have the ene there, and we have to put a number to tell where the double bond is. Let's see. So this is 4 methyl 2 pentene. There we go. All right. What is he now? Seven. Heptene. Hepti, heptene. Okay. Who now is carbon number one? Based on what I just did. Okay. This guy's number one. Two, three, whoops, four, five, six, seven. All right, now, since the double bond is at number two, and I'm going to put a substituent here and a substituent here. Okay, now what's the name? Who's carbon one? Is carbon one still the same one? Yeah. Who determines carbon one? The double. the double bond. So he's still one. Do we still have a heptane? A heptene. Yeah. Right? Longest chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I just counted left to right. Now I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. At 6, I'm going to start going down. 7, 8, 9. Oh, now we have a what? Bonding. We have a nonine. Okay, so this is a nonine. Where is the double bond? Oh, where's the double bond? Two. So this is a two nonene. Now let's name our substituents. Oops, not there. And let's circle the. Okay, okay. Circle the longest chain. So they stick out on you. Okay? Are we good? So that's why we get. Instead of this guy being 7 now, this guy is 7, 8, and 9, and that's why it's a non -ene. Okay? So, we have a methyl on 6, and we have a who on 4? Ethyl. Who goes first? Ethyl. Okay, so we have a 4 ethyl. And a what? 6-methyl, 2-nonine. Are we good? Yeah. Now, Serpent, bring me that note. Bring me the note. What is it? <laughs> hmm. How about that? Isn't that fun? Okay. Now, we've, we've got ourselves a new naming thing that we have to understand 
to be able to move forward, and we're going to have one more kind of compound. This is going to be a little different, too. Okay. Oh, this is not non ain it is non ain Oh, or no nine. Y N E. The ain becomes an ain. Ah, my, oh, no, it's ain. Ain. And where is ain? One, two, three, four, counting from the right, counting from the left. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, who's carbon one? Right or left? Right on. Oh, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. So this is a what non nine? Four non nine. Four non nine. Okay. How about a substituent or two? Oh, we like these guys, huh? Ooh, we haven't had any of those yet, have we? Huh? And here. Oh, guess what? I cannot put a substituent there. Why? He's already got four, huh? Can't put a substituent on number four. Can't put a substituent on number five. No, it's at the carbon backbone. Just giving you this, the uh, overall structure of the molecule. Okay, here we go. Let's let's list our uh, substituents. What are they? What is this? What is this guy here? That's isopropyl. Okay, and we have who's this guy? That's a butyl. And who's this guy? Methyl. <laughs> Okay, we go in alphabetical order, right? Butyl yeah. no. goes first. So where's butyl? Where's butyl? This reminds me of the dog that we were dog sitting. Okay, so we got butyl on on three, a three butyl, and who's next? On? I, oh, number six. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. Six isopropyl. Yeah, turn your responders off, please. And the last one is uh, methyl. Methyl's on three. Three methyl. And you've got it. That's uh, that's the recording for today. It's short.